Hello everybody. Today's video I think is probably going to be a pretty quick one. I am just going to be reflecting on my 2019 rating goals and letting you guys know how I did. I'm really not feeling good about this. I'm feeling actually terrible about this. I think I did horribly on my goals. I feel negatively about how I did on my entire year of reading, but I do want to hold myself a little bit accountable and look at my 2019 reading goals and reflect on how poorly it went. And I'm hoping that this will at least kind of give me a good idea of like where I went wrong and what I could do better for the upcoming year on focusing on my goals, so we'll see. I did a mid-year check-in on my goals and I feel like I remember I was feeling very positively about my goals. I thought I was doing a good job and maybe I was at that point, but I guess the second half of the year just didn't work out goals-wise. But we'll see. So the first goal is my Goodreads goal every year, which is to read 100 books. And I did do this. I read 116 books in 2019. So this goal was completed. 100% success rate so far. Uh, 116 is not a number I'm happy about. I, is the lowest number I've had in years. And it's not at all smashing my goal and honestly I set it at 100 every year but I secretly like want to do way more than that and I didn't do way more than that this year I met the goal and went a little bit over and I just like don't feel great about that I'm already beating myself up about a goal that I completed but that's honestly just how I feel but yeah I, I did complete this goal 100 books I did complete it I don't want to be too hard on myself so that's that my next goal is my goal about reading my own bookshelves. So I have wanted to focus on reading my own books that I physically own, be it through reading the actual book itself or reading like an audiobook version of a book that I own. I just have been really wanting to like knock down my physical TBR. So my official goal was that out of all the books that I read, I wanted a third of them to already have been owned by me. And I do remember doing my mid-year check-in, I was meeting this goal. So for the first half of the year, I did complete this goal. But the second half of the year, I think I just stopped caring about it completely and it didn't happen anymore. So I really was not focusing on even like trying that hard to read books that I owned in the second half of 2019. It was in the back of my mind, like I knew I wasn't doing it, but I just like wasn't making an effort to like change it. I just like had kind of run out of the books that I owned that I like really wanted to get to. I think 2019 was such a slumpy year for me that it was hard for me to force myself to read anything that I didn't want to read. Like it was hard enough for me to finish books that I really wanted to read in the first place if that makes sense. So like, I just stopped trying with this one uh, for the most part. So uh, yeah, kind of sucks. I did not complete this, let me see. So the official percentage of books that I owned of all the books that I read in 2019 was 26. So a quarter of the books that I read, I did own, which is not bad, honestly. I don't think 25% is too shabby, but no, it was not the 33% that I was going for. 26% is like a decent ways off from that. So I did not complete this goal. I'm sorry. My next goal though, I did complete uh, actually, and it is to unhaul the same number of books that I hauled. I had mentioned in my mid-year check and I know that this was going to be a super easy one, pretty much a gimme because I did a massive unhaul in 2019. I unhauled like 200 books. So yeah, I did not haul 200 books in 2019. I didn't really count, but I know I didn't haul that many books. So yeah, that one was a success. I did not purchase more books than I got rid of. Next up, we're moving on to another failure. This is my Project Decades 2.0 goal. So the first part of this goal that I wanted to complete was that I wanted to finally finish my initial stretch goal for Project Decades, and that was to read eight books from the 1800s. And I didn't do this. I didn't do this at all. I read, no, none, 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 none books, none books left beef. I read no books from the 1800s whatsoever. And again, I think this maybe has a lot to do with the fact that 2019 was just slumpy for me and I just 
was picking up books that I was able to read and that I wanted to read and I just didn't want to read ancient classics. I also think that part of the reason it didn't happen is because I kind of knew it wasn't going to be completed. Like we're halfway through the year and I haven't read a single book from the 1800s yet. So like why bother picking up one at all? Because I obviously am not going to read eight books from the 1800s. Like I shouldn't even bother reading one. I feel like that's subconsciously kind of what goes on in my mind. Like if I know I'm not going to complete a goal, I don't even bother trying anymore which is not the greatest way to go about things. Obviously, partially completing a goal is still better than not completing it at all, but that's just like not the way my brain sees things, I think. And so, yeah, I just kind of gave up on this one. The other half of this goal that I had was to read two books from every decade in the 1900s. That didn't happen. Let's see, we have, we have one from the 1900s, like from 1900 to 1909, I guess, and then nothing from the 10s, 20s, 30s, and 40s. Then we have one from the 50s, one from the 60s, four from the 70s, two from the 80s, and then nine from the 90s. Nine from the 90s? That's, you know, that's on par with like the original Project Decades <laughs> goals that I made for myself, which is kind of fun. The only saving grace I have for this goal is if I think about when I originally was doing Project Decades, I was thinking like if I have extras from any decade, I could kind of cheat my system a little bit and like move those numbers to other decades. So as long as I had the total number of books as if I had done it from all the individual yearly goals that I had set, then I could kind of give myself a pass because I was exceeding one part of the goal and failing at another part of the goal. So in a way it was balancing itself out. So if I think about it like that and I just slide all of these books that I read from the 90s down to other decades, then I believe I have still failed, <laughs> but I'm a lot closer. I'm pretty sure I'm two books away from my cheaty slidey goal. Does that make sense to anybody? I hope so. Um, so even then I've still failed, but like at least I read nine books from the 90s and like four from the 70s, not bad. Um, it definitely is, I think, better than I used to do. Like I didn't used to even expand the amount of older books that I was reading to even be at that point, like a few years ago. I don't feel like the worst about that, but it definitely, it's not good at all. <laughs> and I definitely failed at this goal. So yeah, that's definitely something that I just like want to keep thinking about and definitely want to keep focusing on. And I really do want to read more widely based on publication year. Next, we have my recurring goal of reading four books that were sent to me for review and then reviewing them. If I do this off memory, I believe that I read and reviewed The Hating Game. And then I also read and reviewed the Finn Dog, which were both sent to me for review. And I'm not sure if I had any others this year. I need to look this up on Goodreads. Oh, um, I did have another one. Hourglass Studies by Chrissia Jopek was sent to me for review. And I did review that one. And then I actually do have one more that I read in 2019 that was sent to me for review. Um, but I don't think I reviewed it on Goodreads. I think, yeah, I wrote review soon and I totally forgot to actually update it with an actual review, but it was Mapped to the Stars by Adrian Matejka. This goal did not go as badly as I thought it did. I read four out of the four books that were sent to me for review that I wanted to read, and I reviewed three of them on Goodreads. The fourth one I totally forgot to update on Goodreads, but I mean, I did review it on this channel, so it's not like I didn't talk about it at all. I should just remember to write up an actual review on Goodreads and fill that out. But I, I feel pretty good about that. I'm honestly gonna count that as a success. I really thought I failed that one, but that's not bad. That's not bad at all. The next goal is another success, actually. My last success, <laughs> but let's talk about it. It is my goal to participate in VEDA or some other form of a daily video project. And I did do this. I did VEDA in August of 2019, I succeeded at VEDA. It took a lot out of me and I was extremely stressed about it by the end of the month. And I was not enjoying myself by the end of that month, but I'm glad that I did it. And for the most part, I had a good time. 
and I do really love a lot of the videos that I made during that month. Obviously was a success, like I really did post a video every single day for an entire month, I didn't miss any day. And now we're doing it again because I can't stop myself from doing these projects. And one might argue that in a way they are hindering the creative growth of my channel because I only post videos now during monthly video projects and then I just like, don't do anything for the months in between them is what this is turning into. So is this a bad thing? Um, have I created a monster of myself? I don't know. But regardless, that was one of my goals for 2019 and I completed it. So that's a success. <laughs> And I'm doing it again now. Maybe next year I won't do these anymore if I feel like they actually are not helpful for me. But for now, I'm still enjoying it. So I have two more goals that I set for myself in 2019, and they are both technically failures. Uh, so the first one was to caption all of my videos in 2019. I was doing this at the beginning of the year, but then when I did VEDA, like it was just way too much work. I was like barely even making all the videos and uploading them. So I definitely didn't have time to caption anything during VEDA. And then I had like 30 videos to caption and it was a lot. I have been going back and working on the captions for all those videos. So like they are coming. But I would say by the end of 2019, maybe a third to a half of my videos for the year were captioned. Definitely didn't get done, but it's something that I hope to still finish in the time after 2019. Like it's still something that I want to get done is going back and finishing the captions for all those videos. Definitely having that goal did push me to caption way more than I would have just done it on my own if I like didn't say that I wanted to do this or like set this goal for myself. So yeah, it wasn't like a horrible failure, but technically this didn't completely happen in 2019, unfortunately. I still just need to work on figuring out the best captioning work ethic for myself, I guess. And then my last goal, my last goal was to read two books physically. This did not happen. I did read some books physically, but like they were all either poetry books or children's books or graphic novels. I didn't read any novels physically and that was like what my goal was. I just dreaded this. I struggled with it. I really attempted it multiple times and it just didn't happen. And then by the end of the year, I was like, well, it's not going to happen now, is it? But I like, actually was trying to do this one like all the way up until like the end of November, like and des into December. But I still failed, even though I like actively tried to make this one work. I just couldn't bring myself to read, <laughs> read a book. <laughs> yeah don't know what to tell you. I believe when this video comes out, it'll be like still the first week of February. So my first reading vlog of the week has yet to come out, but you will see how I do in February reading physically. Um, hoping that I managed to read at least two books, ideally more than that. Told myself to just read two books physically in 2019 and I couldn't be bothered. I couldn't do it. I could not do it. It was so difficult for me. Yeah, that one was also a failure. And that's it. Those are my 2019 reading goals and how I actually did on them. Honestly, now that I'm talking all this out, it wasn't as horrible as I thought it was, but still not great. Like, I really just like, don't feel super great about how I did on my goals, especially like 2018 when I was doing like project decades and I like really threw myself into that project and came out of it on the other end pretty successful. It feels not great to set goals for myself that were like new and exciting for 2019 and then not do them. It just feels like, what did I accomplish? I don't really know. So I'm hoping 2020 goes better for me and that the new projects that I decide to focus on for 2020 work out better for me and we can move on from what I accomplished last year because it wasn't that much. But oh well, those were my 2019 reading goals. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you did better on your 2019 reading goals than I did. Bye.